the pictures were just absolutely amazing of how the riggers got the magnet through the door. I mean, you're talking about inches of clearance on both sides. There was a lot of pre-planning that went involved in that. So from these early discussions, um, we realized there were a lot of critical aspects to this, um, to this project, which involved it, the critical lift of a 20-ton magnet, which involved large volumes of cryogens run about many thousands of liters of liquid nitrogen, many thousand liters of liquid helium, and the use of high current, high voltage equipment. I think that the safety at the lab is a very important aspect, and every aspect of those moves for that, those heavy pieces of equipment, uh, the uh, liquid nitrogens and heliums that we're working with uh, can be very, very uh, dangerous if things go wrong. I think the biggest success to the Solaris project is the collaboration that we had with all the subject matter experts and also understanding like we knew enough to know what we didn't know. I think the collaborations uh, that we have now uh, for these projects are much better. I would say that we probably didn't really have uh, any real degree of that maybe 10, 15 years ago. I thought we did an amazing job. Certainly there's a culture that it's probably easier just to get stuck in and do things yourself. But I think actually, whilst we were somewhat concerned about engaging too many people in the lab, it turned out to be a huge net benefit to the project. There were, there were one or two um, areas where we could have, um, with the benefit of hindsight, we would have done things slightly different, but given the many high-risk uh, tasks that were part of this project, I think it was very successful.